Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. In my last few videos, I'm talking about graphs. And in the last video, you must have seen that I talked about different types of work. So today, let us try to understand what are these terms, distance, eccentricity and diameter in a graph. So to begin with, let's start with the first key term that is distance. Now, how is distance defined in a graph? We say that distance between any two vertices in a graph is the number of edges in a shortest path connecting them. That means, suppose if I have to find out the distance between any two vertices, I have to find what all paths are there between that two, those two vertices and then the shortest path between those two vertices, the number of edges in that path will be referred to as distance. So let us see this. Suppose I we are given two vertices u and v and I need to calculate what is the distance between u and v. So if I check how many paths connect u to v. So the first path that is visible to me is that okay let me name this path. Let me name this as 1, this as 2 and this as 3. So we can go from u to 1 and then from 1 to v. That means there is one path whose length is 2. Then you can also see that we can go from u to 3, then 3 to 1, and then 1 to v. So there is another path with length 3. Then we can go from u to 3, 3 to 2, 2 to 1, and then 1 to v. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can see 4. And likewise, you can construct many other paths. But which one is the shortest path? The one which has length 2. So the distance between the two vertices u and v will be defined as u, right? So you need to calculate the shortest path between any two vertices. And the length of that path will determine the distance between the two vertices, right? Okay. So now let's come to the next key term. Okay, there is one more example. So we have this graph and we need to calculate what is the distance between s and c. So you can see that this is a undirected graph. So this is node F and this is node C. So what is the shortest path? You can see that we have various paths. One is F to B, then B to C, then we have F to E, E to C, then we have F to G, G to E, E to D, B to C and many other. You can go from A and then you can come back to C. But which one is the shortest path? The length of that path is Similarly, what is the distance between G and C? Between G and C, you can find numerous paths. One is connecting G to F, F to E, E to C. Then you can find out G to E, E to C directly. Then G to E, E to D, D to C. So again, out of all these paths and many other paths you can construct. But the shortest one will have distance 2. Right? Likewise, what is the distance between the vertices A and C? You can see one connectivity is A to F, F to B, B to C. Then we have A to G, G to F, F to E, E to D, D to C. Then you can also see there is one more connectivity. A to F, F to E, E to C, right? And many other. So which one is the shortest path? And what is the length of that path? The length of that path is 3. So the shortest path is A to F, F to E and E. Right? So this was all about distance. Now let's talk about eccentricity. Now what is eccentricity? Eccentricity means that you have eccentricity is calculated for each vertex. So it is defined as the maximum distance of one vertex from the other vertex. So that means if I have to calculate the eccentricity of a vertex, particular vertex say B, right? So I will calculate the distance of that vertex from the rest of the vertices present in the graph. And once I have the distance with me, I'll choose the maximum out of those distances. And that maximum distance will be defined as the eccentricity. Right? So let's suppose this is my graph and I need to calculate the eccentricity of vertex A. So let's calculate what is the distance of vertex A from vertex A. So you can see that there is no loop in this. So there is no part connecting A to A. 
So the distance is 0. Right? So then let's calculate what is the distance between the nodes A and B. So distance between A and B is the shortest part. So you can see that the distance is 1. Then what is the distance between A and C? What is the shortest path? It is A to D, D to C. That means the length is 2. There is no other path which is lesser than 2. Similarly, what is the distance between A and D? It's again 1. So we have four vertices and we have calculated the distance of A from each of the other vertices. Now, from this list, Choose the one which has the maximum distance. So this is 2. So the eccentricity of vertex A will be defined as. Right. So eccentricity tells us about the maximum distance of one vertex from the other. Right. So now let's talk about diameter. What is diameter? So diameter is defined as the maximum distance between the pair of vertices. So diameter of the graph tells us that between any two pair of vertices, what will be the maximum distance between them? So how do we calculate the diameter of a graph? The first technique is that you will calculate the eccentricity of all the vertices that are present in that graph. And from once we have the list of all the eccentricities of the vertices, we choose the maximum of Right? And that will become the So, let's calculate for this graph. So, first of all, let us calculate the eccentricity. Uh, you have to calculate the diameter of this graph, right? So, you can see that the, we have five vertices marked as A, B, C, D, E. So, we need to calculate the eccentricity of each of these vertices. So, let's talk about vertex A. So you can see that the distance between A and A is 0. The distance between A and B is 1. The distance between A and C is 2. The distance between A and D is 1. The distance between A and E is 2. So the eccentricity of vertex A becomes 2. Now let's talk about vertex B. The vertex B, if you calculate the distance of vertex B from the rest of the vertices, you will find the distance between B and A is 1. The distance between B and B is 0. The distance between B and C is 2. The distance between B and D is 2. The distance between B and E is 1. So finally we get that the eccentricity of vertex B is 2. Likewise, we will calculate the eccentricity of vertex C which comes out to be 2. The eccentricity of vertex D that also comes out to be 2. And finally we calculate the eccentricity of vertex E which also comes out to be 2. So now all the vertices have the same eccentricity, right? So the diameter of this graph is also 2. Suppose if these eccentricities were different, then we will choose the maximum of all the eccentricities, right? Let's do one more example. So this is one of the graphs and you have to calculate the diameter of this graph. So We'll first check the eccentricities of all the vertices. So eccentricity of vertex A comes out to be 1. The eccentricity of vertex B comes out to be 2. The eccentricity of vertex C comes out to be 1 again. And the eccentricity of vertex D comes out to be 2. So we have 1 and 2. So the diameter of this graph becomes 2, the maximum out of all. Right? So from distance, we went on to eccentricity and then from eccentricity, we went on to the diameter. So I hope you have understood the topic. So do subscribe my channel for the latest updates. Do comment and give your feedback. And if you have any doubts, please write in the comment section. Believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.